Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good days, great levels, great twelves. Uh, we are still continuing on our uh, videos now on a uh, Newton's second law of motion. And today we will now be looking at now where two objects are connected by a string and one object is pulled at an, at an angle. Uh, we, we looked at in our previous video we looked at now where one object was just pulled at an angle. But in this uh, particular video, we'll be focusing on two objects, and one of these objects will now be uh, pulled at an at an angle. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, without any waste of time uh, have a look of uh, what is it that uh, we'll be doing today. So I have an example here. It says now uh, two blocks of masses uh, 15 kg and 8 kg are connected by a light in inextensible uh, string and are placed on a rough horizontal surface and then a force of 70 newton is applied to the 15 kg at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal then they tell us that the system accelerates to the right and then it further goes on to say the 8 kg block experiences a constant frictional force of 2,5 newtons and the 15 kg block experiences a constant frictional force of 4 newtons and then we have now our diagram here to simplify things like we uh, said it's two objects and then one of the object is pulled at an angle and these two objects are now connected by a light inextensible strain. Ladies and gentlemen, let us look at this. Uh, from the scenario, we can see that we have uh, two blocks of masses, 15 kg and one with uh, 8 kg. And then they are pulled by a light inextensible strain. It simply means that this string of ours, it does not stretch. And if it does not stretch, it means now the tension that is connecting these uh, 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 two blocks will be the same. The tension that you find on the 8 kg will be the same as the tension that you find now on the uh, 15 kg. And then the statement further says now a 17 newton force is applied to the 15 kg block at an angle of 80 degrees. And then they just tell us that the system accelerates to the right. The system meaning that the 8 kg and the 15 kg together, we call that, we call them a, a system. And then we know that when they are connected by a light inextensible string, these two blocks, they will have now the same, the same acceleration. And then it says, the 8 kg block experiences a constant frictional force, a constant frictional force of 2,5 newtons. And the 15 kg experiences a constant frictional force of uh, 4 newtons. Then we had now our, our diagram there. Our diagram is there, it's simplified, and then we'll just look at now a uh, two 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 questions and these questions are there but i hope you will agree with me that before i can go and look at these questions before i can go and look at these questions what is it that is important what is important is that now i must draw my free body diagram i must draw my free body diagram for the 8 kg block and also now I must draw a free body diagram for, for the 15 kg. Remember, a free body diagram will help me now to identify all the forces that are, 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 are acting on the, on the block. So I will then state here that this free body diagram is for the 8 kg. And we know that it's on the surface. We are going to have now a normal force which is Fn, 
and then we're going to have fg and then what makes now this uh, 8 kg to move to the right or to accelerate to the right it's now this force which we call now the tension force so the 8 kg will have now the the tension force but then we were told that it experiences a constant frictional force and we know that frictional force now opposes the the motion so this will now be my free body diagram for for the 8 kg and then for for the 15 kg for the 15 kg block i will have a dot here remember the examiner did not ask me to draw a free body diagram i'm just drawing the free body diagram to help me to to answer the questions that will fall so the free body diagram that i will draw here ladies and gentlemen will be a free body diagram of a component a free body diagram with components so here i will have now my normal force because i know that the object is on the surface and then here i will have now my my f fg and then we also had that now uh, this 15 kg experiences now a constant frictional force let me make a bigger dot a bigger dot there and then i will have my friction force fk but then we know ladies and gentlemen that when i look at this 15 kg this 15 kg is connected to the to the uh, 8 kg and then when this 15 kg now uh, moves to the right we know that this 8 kg will exert a force to resist now this 15 kg block to move to the right and then 8 kg will apply a force that is going in the opposite direction and that force you will see now it is the it is the tension force so the 15 kg block will experience a tension force that is acting now to the to the opposite direction of of motion and then i said i will draw the one with components and you'll agree with me that i will have the fx component and the fy component so here i will have now my my fx and then also i will have my my f fy and we know that our fy ladies and gentlemen my fy is equals to f a a sign of feet and then fx we know is equals to f a cos of feet we know this ladies and gentlemen from the previous video that i i did there so that's not a a problem then if i have my free body diagram like this the examiner can ask me to draw one of these and if the examiner asks me to draw this free body diagram it means now i will have now already how many marks four marks and then if he asks me to draw this one of 15 kg i know that i will not draw the one with the fy and the fx because we we said that this fy and fx these are the components of the applied force but instead i will replace this with the with the force that will be going in that direction and then here i will have now my one two three four five marks for drawing that free body free body diagram but even if the examiner did not ask you to draw a free body diagram ladies and gentlemen we must draw a free body diagram for ourselves in order to identify all the forces that are acting on an object and also their direction we can see now this tension on the 8 kg it is now acting to the right but this tension on the 15 kg block is acting to the to the left because the 8 kg is going to try and resist the 15 kg to move to the right by applying a force through the string that now pulls the that tends to pull the 15 kg backwards Hence, we say now the force is here. I have my frictional force, and then my tension will act now in the in the opposite direction. 
meaning that it will act to the to the left ladies and gentlemen i hope you are still following now let's look at these uh, questions the first question says calculate the acceleration of the system it says to us let's calculate the acceleration of the system ladies and gentlemen what i want us to note is that when we have two objects connected by a string those or two objects they will have now the the same the same acceleration they will have now the same the same acceleration because they are connected by a light inextensible string a string that does not stretch so it says to me that these blocks of mine they will have now the same the same acceleration then ladies and gentlemen let's go and find this a uh, acceleration of the system the system it simply says now it is now this 8 kg connected with this a uh, 15 kg of hours so if i want to find that acceleration ladies and gentlemen i will then have to say i will then have to say for the 8 kg block i must find the f net and we know that newton's second law says f net is equals to ma and then for this 8 kg i must choose my my positive direction and the direction that i'm going to choose it will be now for the 8 kg and also for the 15 kg i must only choose direction once so i will say now let right be positive but someone will ask why right be positive me i prefer to say now where the object is going where the object is going let that direction be be positive you'll see in a moment why i choose this right to be positive and then because i can see now my tension is pointing towards the right then my tension will now be positive and then if i define f net i know that i will start with all my positive variables tension is pointing to the right and right is positive so i will start with my all my positive uh, variables it will be now tension plus uh, friction friction is going to the left so it must now be be negative then it must be negative and then it's equals to ma uh, these are now all the forces that are acting on the 8 kg why these forces ladies and gentlemen these forces because now these these uh, two objects they are moving horizontal they are not moving up or down so the net force in the y direction is equals to is equals to zero but because this object they accelerate to the right and right is is on the horizontal i will then have to focus on my a uh, horizontal forces in this case which are the tension and the fk and then if a uh, tension is to the right it must be positive and fk is to the left it must now be negative and then this is my f net for for the 8 kg block can i do the same find f net for the 15 kg yes ladies and gentlemen i can do that to say f net is equals to ma and then also we also know that this 50, uh, 15 kg block it does not move up or down but it only moves in which direction in the horizontal direction in the x axis so i must focus on the forces that are on the horizontal and those forces of mine will now be fx uh, fk and the tension force but we already chose our direction we already chose our direction to be positive so it means fx is pointing to the right meaning that my fx must be positive i said i'm starting with all the positives and then i will come with the negative afterwards then to see fk is going to the left meaning it must be negative 
and then tension must also now be b negative and then it must now be equals to ma we can further clean this a uh, clean this equation of ours ladies and gentlemen we know that a, a positive multiplied by a negative is going to give us a a negative fk is equals to ma and then in this side i will have now my fx minus fk minus tension is equals to ma ladies and gentlemen i want to stress something important when we have two objects connected by a string and then you are defining f net for each object you must always now be careful of this the tension in one object must be positive and the other one must be negative because we agreed that these tensions are going in in the opposite direction this one is going to the right this one is going to the left and then we agreed that our choice of direction let right be positive so this tension is positive and then this one is negative always make sure that when you are dealing with two objects that are connected by a string let one tension be positive and the other one be be negative ladies and gentlemen i hope you got that so let's continue to say now uh, can i substitute my uh, known variables into this equation yes i can substitute that do I have the tension? No, I don't have the magnitude of the tension. So I will keep it as T. T minus. Do I have a FK for, for the 8 kg? Yes, I do have. It was given to me as 2, 2, 5 is equals to mass. It's 8 kg uh, multiplied by the acceleration. And then I only have that, ladies and gentlemen. So I will then call this my equation number, my equation number one. And then on this other side, I now know that my fx is equals to the force applied, force applied cos of theta minus fk minus tension is equals to ma. And then I know that my force applied, it's this force, ladies and gentlemen which is say 20 which will now be multiplied by the cos of i know the angle the angle there is 80 degrees minus the fk i know the fk it was given to me to s four newtons and still i don't have the tension remember we said the tension here is the same so it must now be minus tension is equals to a for a uh, 15 multiply by by a and then i can call this now my equation number two and then ladies and gentlemen we can further add this that the two blocks that are connected by a string or or a rope they will have the same acceleration and also they will have the same tension they will have the same tension ladies and gentlemen so here i then have my two equations my two equations with two unknowns one is tension the other one is acceleration so what i will do now is to say now i will then have to solve for these two equations simultaneously for me to get the acceleration and then we know how to solve equations uh, simultaneously so me i like now using the uh, substitution method you will also be correct to use the elimination method so whichever one works for you so me i like using the uh, substi substitution method then i will then say let me make t the subject of this formula in equation number one if i do that ladies and gentlemen i will have t is equals to eight a i transpose this 2,5 to be plus 2,5 can you see i just transposed now this 2,5 to go to the 
to the right hand side. Can I also clean this equation and then make t the subject of the formula? Yes, I can. If I take out my calculator, I will then have to say 70 multiply by the cos of 80. Uh, and then it's uh, minus minus 4. Then I will have now uh, 56 comma six two one seven seven eight two six minus tension is equals to fifteen a ladies and gentlemen when you get at this stage i said here i made t the subject of the formula and then you can see that my t here is positive i want to equate these uh, two tensions so this t on this side is positive so let us now make this t also to be to be positive and to do that i will then have to transpose this t to the right hand side and then transpose this 15 to the to the left hand side let's do that ladies and gentlemen you'll agree with me that this will be 56 comma 6217 and then i transpose this 15a this 15 is positive when it gets to the side it's going to be negative and then this tension it's negative here then it's now going to be positive can can you see now i have my two variables which are the tensions tensions we said they are the same they have the same tension so i have t on this equation equally 8a plus 2 comma 5 and then also on this side i have tension equaling 56 comma 62 minus 15a so i can say this was tension for the 8 kg can i equate tension for the 8 kg with tension for the tension for the 8 kg with tension of 15 kg when i equate those ladies and gentlemen I know that the tension for the 8 kg is equals to how much? It's equals to 8a plus 2,5. Then this will be equals to tension for the 15 kg. Tension for the 15 kg, ladies and gentlemen, is equals to 56,627,7826 minus 15a. Can you see I haven't rounded off this answer, ladies and gentlemen? Because this is not yet my final, my final answer. So I will not do any any rounding off there. So can I now solve a uh, for for the acceleration here by by doing what? By collecting the the like terms. Let the like terms be on one side. So it's going to be eight a plus fifteen a is equals to 56,6217,8,26 minus 2,5. And then on this other side, uh, let's start with uh, this side because I've already have that answer there. So I'll just subtract 2,5. And then there I will get 54,12177,8,26. And then on this other side, it's 8 plus 15. 8 plus 15 gives me now 23a. And then remember, I was looking for acceleration. So I will divide now both sides by 23. 23. Then my acceleration there will now be, let's check. It will now be uh, 54, 1, 2, 1, 7, 7, 8, two six and then i divide that by 23 and then you, i get my acceleration to be two comma three five rounded off to two decimal place it will be two comma three five as you can see there from the calculator so this will be meters per second in which direction acceleration is a vector quantity ladies and gentlemen so we need to assign the direction to say now this now accelerates to the to the right to solve this ladies and gentlemen when we have two blocks 
connected by a string we will then have to now find the f net for the 8 kg like we did there and also now find the f net for the 15 kg and then ladies and gentlemen the second question was now to say calculate the tension in the string connecting the two the two blocks so tension in the string we said it's the same tension in the string we said it's the same so i can say let me take this equation because it has tension there and then substitute this acceleration this acceleration to what to to the to the equation number one there and then add uh, 2.5 that should give me now my my tension so when i do that ladies and gentlemen i'm out of space i will just uh, squeeze now this everything here to say tension will be equals to 8a plus 2.5 so i will then have this answer ladies and gentlemen that i got here i will substitute it fully as 2.35111 for me i don't have space so i will just substitute the but in the calculator ladies and gentlemen i will substitute the full value it's going to be 8 multiplied by the answer plus 2.5 and then this now should give me a tension of 21.32 rounded off to two decimal place and then that will now be my my tension and then it's it's neutral so in this uh, case ladies and gentlemen the examiner cannot ask you to say uh, find the direction of this tension because now we have two tensions here if the examiner wants the direction he will then tell you straight to say find the tension of the 8 kg we can see that the tension for the 8 kg is going where? It's going to the right. So if the examiner said to us, find the tension for the 8 kg, we'll then say the tension is equals to 21,38 newtons to the right. But if he wants the one for the 15 kg, we'll then say it's 21,39 to the left. But here... The examiner just said to us calculate the tension connecting the two the two blocks so in most cases the examiner only wants now the what the the magnitude the examiner in this case only now wants the the magnitude and then we can also test now using this equation here ladies and gentlemen this one here it should now give us the the same answer as as this one that we we found here so i will then say let's see that let's see that let's first find the acceleration the acceleration we said we substituted the full value there so in this one also we must substitute the the full value there ladies and gentlemen so it must now be a uh, divide by 23 this was now the the acceleration that we got ladies and gentlemen Let's take this acceleration and then substitute it in this equation to find the, the tension. The tension must now be the same. Let's do that, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be 56,621777826 minus 15A. 15. Where I see the A, I will then substitute my acceleration and then this now ladies and gentlemen should now give us the the same answer and the answer is there you can see from the screen it's 21,32 so it says now my tension my tension is is correct ladies and gentlemen uh, i hope you found it is a uh, fruitful ladies and gentlemen this is the end of our session i just wanted now to us to look at these uh, two objects whereby one object is pulled at an angle and the other one is connected to it by a light inextensible string and now we had only now these uh, two questions of 
of hours to say now find the acceleration in order to find the acceleration we need now to use simultaneous equation but the examiner can can also skip this question ladies and gentlemen to say find the tension if the examiner says find the tension we'll then have to say we follow this procedure we are going to find the acceleration first and then after finding the acceleration that's then we can take this acceleration of ours and then we will find the detention so that is the procedure there and then i broke now these uh, two questions into into two parts ladies and gentlemen uh, with that being said uh, thank you very much i hope you enjoyed the, the lesson uh, feel free to now uh, leave a question in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to the video please ladies and gentlemen if you have any questions just uh, pose a question there or if you feel that there is a topic that uh, you would like us to do that we are still busy with uh, this newton uh, slows feel free to contact me in the uh, comment section to say which uh, part you want us to do thank you ladies and gentlemen